Oh! Norris locked up and went straight on. Welcome back everyone to some more F124 driver career mode and of course last time we secured the driver's world championship or actually we retained it so this is the second season in a row that we have retained the top step of the driver's championship as well as the constructors I did not do the calculations last time for the constructors championship but indeed we did win that as well also we've hit 99 rated so that is beautiful uh, so yeah the rest of the season the two races that's left including one sprint sprint race uh it doesn't really matter we can do whatever we want with it so today i want to test out a little theory uh is a two stop even worth it anymore we know we did a lot of one stops i think throughout the whole series unless there was a safety car or some red flag we stayed on a one stop strategy uh can a two strategy work that is one thing that i'm going to give it a try today uh contract performance wise i'm doing well beating everyone in the uh rivalries and 99 rated here in uh the game so yeah that's beautiful 99 rated overall uh and we progress closer to qatar and we'll see how this grand prix weekend goes so let's head into it and do our little experiment if you guys are enjoying the series of course please be sure to leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below really do appreciate your support it's all about flow and pace today qualifying in qatar a high speed test that will set the grid for tomorrow's race so welcome along All right, then let's jump into sprint qualifying here in Qatar. It's a medium tires for the first round, of course. So let's head out there. One lap and done kind of situation. Let's just hope we get a solid lap in. Dump the battery. Let's see. Crossing the line. Pole position, baby. Pole position. There we go. Qatar dominance returns. Absolutely beautiful lap. 3.8 tons faster than Norris. And we are 1 2 right now. Vestige, Hülkenberg, Pocher, and Signs knocked out. Dump the battery, dump the battery, let's go. Another fastest lap, baby, another fastest lap. Can I catch these? Beautiful. Now on to SQ3. This time around, Lando getting us slight, slightly closer. Two tenths only between myself and Lando. Sonoda, Albon, Behrman, Ricardo, and Oko knocked out. Let's empty the battery. Let's see what we get here. And it's pole again, 118.5 on the soft tires. Deg is about 5% on the left-hand side after one push lap, like really strong push lap. And there we have it, pole position for the race at three tenths, almost 2.8 tenths ahead of Norris. Very strong lap. And yeah, let's head into a sprint race. That's going to be straightforward, one tire, and we're gonna complete that lap. And then for the Grand Prix, it'll be interesting. But let's head into a sprint race. Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. Here we are then, pole position or sprint pole position that is medium tires on, that's fine. Drop our fuel by a little bit and let's get into this one. All right, P1 starting position, P2 for Lando Norris. Let's run with it, lights out and away we go. There's a bit of screen freeze just as we launched off the line. Super wide line to ensure that I do not smash into Norris. We don't want papaya crashing rules. We want papaya rules. Let's run. Whoa, car does not want to turn. I guess I have to heat up the tires. It's not acting the way it did in qualifying. But then again, it's no surprise. The car during the race performs very differently than in qualifying and the practice sessions. So it takes us like a lap or two to get used to it. Oh yeah, I nearly spun the car there. 
Let's run. Not a bad first lap. Let's see if Norris gets me here. Okay, DRS will be enabled I don't think so. You can use it when DRS you will be enabled next la ahead, this lap, so zone. next time we come around the final corner, we're going to be under pressure from people from behind with DRS. Come on. Let's find some pace, please. Whoa! That was... Very scary there. Again. Wheel spin out of the final corner. DRS max deployment for Stappen. Russell, Alonso fastest lap. The fastest lap of the race. Okay, Norris goes through. Drive, buddy, drive. Okay, let's charge up behind him. Watch out for understeer in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as quickly as you can. Push, push. Engineer quiet. Alright, let me see if I can pull away from the cars behind by overtaking Norris here. I want to see if I can get a gap going. Then we can solidify our 1-2 dominance. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Que pasa? What's happening? Yellow flag. Is that an out? No, it's a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes out. Russell. George Russell out. Okay, no safety cars though. With three laps to go. Unfortunate Russell. Get good. Alright, we maintain the lead. Let's keep going. Norris and Alonso fighting. Alright. Trying to give him as much space. Let's run away while we can. Come on. Ah, they're back at it. They stopped fighting. Alright, here we go. Final lap. Let's guard this outside line. They're going up the inside. It's dusty out there, man. Dusty. Come on. Oh! Norris locked up and went straight on. Snuck it off in the side of Alonso. Who left the door open. Man, Norris took me by surprise there. So I forgot to break and somehow I made a move. Slightly on the aggressive side, but I'll take it. And I think it took Alonso by surprise as well. He was going all haywire. Oh, yep, there we go. Second warning. Good thing I had the buffer. Come on, cross the line, cross the line, and that's a victory. Sprint race victory, there we go. Top job, mate, top job, yes! I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but man, you pulled through. Thank you, well done. Well, Lando screwed his own race there, locking up and giving up two positions to myself and Alonso. Alonso gets P2. So yeah, that is the standing for the sprint race. Let's move on to qualifying for the Grand Prix.
It's all about flow and pace today, qualifying in Qatar. A high-speed test that will set the grid for tomorrow's race. So welcome along. All right, here we are then. Time to jump into qualifying for the Grand Prix. How many medium tires do I have available? I have are these returned? Reserved for SQ1? I think they may be returned. So we do have softs, mediums, and hards available to do a two-stop. So let's try and get through qualifying one and two on one set of tires. Right, the and then we'll ready. deal let's with the rest. Bro, it's so hard to concentrate when the engine noise goes up this much again. Jeez, my head is ringing already. How unpolished is this game? I do not know. 119.2, fastest lap. Alright, we're going to the garage because my gosh, that is loud. Easy as you like. 5, 10, 6, 10 faster. And Paul uh, knocked out our Vestigio Science, Ocon, and Porsche. All right, dump the battery, dump the battery. Let's see, crossing the line for another pole position lap. We would love to see it. 118s, 118.9 for us, beautiful. And there we have it leading the group for Q2 as well by a 10th ahead of Norris. So that's good to see. Hülkenberg, Sonoda, Albon, Ricardo, and Behrman knocked out. All right, final lap of qualifying, 118.4, wow, the track evolution did happen, nice, this is good, I'm happy with that lap, should be pole position I hope, indeed it is, by 5 tenths ahead of Max Verstappen and then Lando Norris P3, so that is a good starting position, let's see if the two stop strategy works. Welcome back to Qatar and the desert sands of time are running out this season for some of our drivers. Lights out are just moments away. This, the fourth race in the Middle East. So we're back here in LaSalle and this is the track map. 3.34 miles, 16 turns and just one DRS zone out of turn 16. It's already a fast and flowing track after all. There's a good overtaking opportunity with DRS though through the long straight and into turn one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. The rookie lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Hamilton, Perez, Ricardo, Verstappen, Albon, Sonoda, Holkenberg, Behrman, Ocon, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Joe, Vesti, and Theo Porsche. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. All right, and welcome to the race itself. Grand Prix time. Let's look at our strategy. 29 laps on uh, the track. Let's see. We don't have any other tires. We'll go on to the softs at the end. We'll do about 10 laps on the mediums and then, yeah, 14 laps on the hards and then a soft stint at the end. 
uh, five laps is like as much as we can do apparently maybe we'll extend it a little further yeah let's do that eight fourteen seven that might be a good strategy for us today slightly slower than this one the medium soft hard strat but that's fine we'll see how it goes on track and without further ado let's jump into a pole position start and let's see if a two-stop works here we go then we gotta cook lights out and away we go Oh my god, it's three white already behind me. Okay, 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 buddy. Physics doesn't make sense all of a sudden. Has physics ever made sense on this game? No, not really. Exceeding track home this morning already. Okay, Russell behind. He wants some big points after his failure in the sprint race. Oh my god. Where's the grip? Grip's in existence. Grip is so different compared to the sprint race. Yet again, sprint race, Grand Prix qualifying for the Grand Prix, sprint race qualifying, they're all different. Car feels so different among every single session. Make it make sense, mate. Alright, let's dial in, please. Charge is high. Let's use that overtake button a bit more. There we go. That's it. Dump the battery out of that corner. Russell had a little twitch there. Fastest lap for me. Ah, Norris takes it. That's fine. Alright, Russell trying to move up the inside, but he's not going to make it. Because he needs to break on the inside line way sooner than I can. Being on the outside line. Beautiful. Nice. We're driving well right now, we need to keep this pace going. Okay mate, lap times are a little erratic at the moment, we need consistency, so let's try and stabilize them. Erratic? I can't hear you over this loud engine noise mate. Why is the engine so loud? I can't even hear my own thoughts at this rate. I can't hear you mate. Okay, just average lap time. That I can do. Oh, green flag, something happening behind us. Someone's retiring, I think it's a uh, Aston Martin. Fernando Alonso. Alonso out. Chin up, rookie, it'll be okay.
box this lap. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Got to prepare for our pit window. It is time to put on the hards and go for another 14 laps and then see it out on the softs. Bro, I can't hear you. The engine is too loud. Alright, here goes the experiment. Experiment time. Let's see. Will this work? Okay, off we okay. Go good, good Perfect. stop. 2.5. Back of the grid. We only have used tires left. Oh dear. That's not good. But it is what it is. Let's go. Okay, let's see this out. Let's chase okay, them down. This isn't our true position. They haven't yet pitted and they're on a one stopper, so don't waste time fighting because they should be coming in soon. Shut your mouth, mate. Engineer, quiet. Copy that. Just let me drive. Let me just drive my own race. Okay, first pit stops. First pit stops for signs. Albon, Alcon. And we're through. Signs on mediums. Is he? No, he's on hards. His pit box was later than the Alpines, of course, so. He was still trundling down the pit lane. Now he's switched over to the hards. We should see another group go in this lap. We're slowly inching closer to kick salvers and etc. Oh, I've gone wide there. FIA said that's fine. We'll take their generosity there. Actually, it's not really generosity considering how much the AI exceeds track limits throughout the season and they don't get called for it. AI advantage. Let's see who's in. Joe Hülkenberg. Verstappen. Ricardo. Behrman. Stroll. Hamilton Leclerc. Again, undercut. Working beautifully. Five seconds. That's huge. Oh, closing on a Vesti. Let's go. That's some DRS, mate. Beautiful. That's the rest of the group into the pit lane. Let's see how far back Norris and Russell are. We take the lead. Four seconds. Massive undercut. We pit eight laps ago. That's bloody stupid. Again, another reason the tire hard tires are so OP. No wonder some racing leagues have banned the hard tire because it is way too OP. You can literally sit on the hards from lap 2 and still win the Grand Prix. But let's see. Let's try and pit for softs at the end and see if we can get the lead and win this race. It's a test. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap.
We're pitting this lap. Okay. Does Russell have DRS? I do not know. I hope not. He may have. Ah, shucks. Anyway, self tires on. Where do we release? Mm, can I be ahead of this train? Nah, I'm gonna be stuck in this train, aren't I? With Verstappen, Ricardo. Yikes. We gotta dispatch these guys quick. And then try to climb the table in seven laps. I don't know if the two stop works here. I don't think two stops are a viable option anymore. Let's see. Let's cook on the sauce. Let's see what we can do. Alright, we got Bearman here. Fastest sectors 2 and 3. Pass Bearman. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there's a small train of cars there. The Verstappen train. I'm about to knock that fastest lap out of the park here. 120.1. Fastest lap. Now we just need to get into the points. Gotta try and get past this line of cars up ahead. Great stuff. It looked like you made easy work of that target. Let's try and keep that going right through to the end of the race. Alright, let's keep this momentum going. We got Piastri. Wanna get past everyone up until Ricardo. Oh my god. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ocon getting ready to make a move on Ricardo. Sonoda. Two and one, baby. We're up into P9. Tires are starting to go. Tires are starting to go. This is a big problemo. Sonoda. Sonoda! The dirty air! Okay, here we are, here we are. That was a solid corner. And we blast past Sonoda. See ya. Verstappen next. Almost two seconds ahead. Maybe less. Can we get him in the next lap or two? Trying to catch Max for step and does not seem likely. Uh, P8 will be our finishing position, so two stop does not work. And it's kind of a given. We could kind of assume that because of how OP the hard tires are. So there's no way we're going to catch up to these guys uh, when we pit another lap. Because the hards will still maintain their pace. Like even... 20, 30 laps after they're deployed, so yeah, the no race. real surprises there. Well, that was a fun experiment to pull off here in uh, uh, Qatar. Uh, Lando Norris P2 with Russell P1 and Hamilton P3. Fascinating results there. Stroll, Leclerc, Verst uh, Perez, Verstappen, and myself. 
Ocon and Tsunoda in the points with Ricardo Piaschi Behrman, Pochier, Albon, Sainz, Hülkenberg, Joe, Vesti, and Alonso failing to finish at the end. Uh, yeah, 120.1 is a pretty solid lap time. You can see how fast I was on those softs, but the two stop does not work uh, because of the hard tires. So nice uh, to know that. Obviously, it, it was expected. The hypothesis was that we're not going to be able to pull off a two stop strategy. Maybe if we had better tires, possibly, but even if we moved on to the mediums, I think we would have still been too slow and the delta would have been too small for us to catch uh, the cars ahead um lander norris p5 and myself p1 in the driver's standings and then constructors were still in the lead by 134 points no big surprises there i mean we've secured both anyway we're heading to abu dhabi next time the finale of the season season four is going to come to a close in the next episode but yeah that was fun uh, i enjoyed that challenge of two stop and testing it out it's quite unfortunate that you can't do a two stop i think in f123 we were able to do a two stop strategy and that became fun you know the ai was also testing two stop strategy mostly relying on a one stop but being able to pull off a two stop was quite realistic but also quite fun to do and that's missing in this game so I don't know what they did they just evolved just backwards as the great PewDiePie said um, but yeah that's just it is what it is but that was fun thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe using the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next thank you guys so much for the support Take care, and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.